What does it mean to be a man? Hello, my name is Eric Harding, and I have often thought about that question. As men, we don't have a roadmap into masculinities. The old projection of men as all-powerful hides our lack of knowledge of the system that shapes and forms male identity and sense of self from birth until death. Even if we never know it, gender roles are assigned to us as babies and we are given continual guidance about the ways we can be a boy or a man as opposed to a girl or a woman. This system insists that males are inherently dominating, superior to everything and everyone deemed weak, especially females, and endowed with the right to dominate and rule over them and to maintain that dominance through various forms of physical and psychological violence. The thing is, there has been a reckoning, and that power structure has been called into question. In the 21st century, we have seen people speaking up and speaking out. They are tired of the power imbalance and behaviors that were okay not even that long time ago. We are at a crossroads. On one hand, we can get curious, adapt, and evolve as men, perhaps experiencing closeness, brotherhood, and real friendship with other males for the first time, or, on the other hand, we can get stuck with a version of masculinity that was rigid and caused immeasurable suffering to men and those around them. Men risk going their entire lives, never experiencing community, connection, and confidence. As someone who has disappointed strict gender roles in more ways than I can count, I have learned from past traumas. Today, it is easier to navigate these confusing times and have a clear focus on the big picture. There are many ways of experiencing masculinity. According to the results of a 2021 poll conducted by the Survey Center on American Life, nearly one in five American men admit to not having a single close friend, not even one. The number of American men without a close friend has jumped five times since 1995, from 3% to 15%. When we stand in solidarity with our fellow brothers, we can see the damage that upholding an impossible ideal of masculinity has done to us through intergenerational trauma. Compound that with a media landscape that is interested in keeping the status quo, and last but certainly not least, all the demands from the society and culture around us, and just existing as a man gets pretty difficult. The millennial generation is the first one who has had access to the tools for healing, our parents, grandparents, and great-grandparents were simply not able to do that. By healing, we are able to break the chains that hold us in place and overcome fear. I personally deal with low self-esteem and imposter syndrome on a daily basis. Having a support system and connecting with other men who were on the same boat as me was a breakthrough. It allowed me to be human and accept the thoughts of not being good enough as just that thoughts. So, if you want to join a place where we will experience community as the men that you really are, this is the right place for you. Men and masculinity are as varied and unique as the over 4 billion males living on planet Earth. So, what does it mean for you to be a man? Let's explore it together. Our journey begins on Sunday, April 16th. Whether you're watching this video or listening to the podcast version, remember to like, share, and subscribe and join me in deconstructing man, masculinity, and love. I'll see you all very soon.